I just want to make sure everything is good. Okay. Ooh, cancer. I'm already getting messages for you guys. If you guys have never seen my videos before, my name is F9 or Yasha, however you guys, whatever, whatever. My name is F9. Welcome to my video. Welcome to my channel. I'm here to do Cancer's February 2020 reading today. I'm already getting messages for you guys. So that's dope. I love when that happens. Um, if you guys find that this video resonates with you, please hit that like button. Um, if you want to follow me, subscribe to my channel. But make sure I suggest that you make sure you hit the bell where the notification tab is so you'll always be notified when i drop new shit if you guys don't like cursing and profanity i mean i don't do it too much lately but i say cuss words every now and then if you guys don't like stuff like that then you guys should definitely go find somebody else that don't do that shit um and yeah this is pretty much my messages for cancer i see seen that some of you guys may have gone through a betrayal in the past um, a lot of secrets may have been exposed. I'm hearing for some of you guys, maybe there was somebody in your life who <sighs> kind of made you think that you were crazy. They were manipulative. They was keeping shit from you. And they was pretty much not playing victim, but making it seem like they weren't doing as much as they were doing, but they definitely were doing the most. Um, this may have caused, um, you guys to have some self-doubt in your heart about yourself, about who you are. I'm hearing a lot of you guys may have had to do a lot of soul searching within the last couple of years and you've been asking god and spirit and whomever you resonate with in your spirit to send you the right signs for growth and positivity and love to have a new life to start over some of you guys i'm feeling may have had creative endeavors in the works you guys, some of you guys you don't want to be single. Maybe you've been having a hard time making your own bread. But we're going to get into it. The overall energy I got for you guys so far is Expect a Miracle, Mother Mary card. She was literally the first card that pulled out for you guys. I love when Mother Mary comes out because that's just golden light energy. It's like Christ energy to me. It's like you're definitely being watched over every time, all the time. But more specifically this month. From the spirit and angels above, like they heard your prayers, even though it may seem like they haven't heard your prayers, just know they want you to know that your prayers have been heard and they're being answered at this time. Um, also, I want you guys to know that time is fluid. Just because this is February 2020 video, these energies can occur at any time. It could have maybe occurred already. It's everyone's on their own journey. Everyone's on their own timeline. So I want to throw that out there, but. Um, the message from Mother Mary is expect a miracle, have faith that your prayers have been heard and are being answered. Um, she has a lot of baby angels going on in here. Uh, maybe you guys have been looking for a sign to get pregnant, something with babies, something with children. Maybe you guys, some of you have dealt with maybe miscarriages in the past. So you've been praying for a child to come into your life and your prayers will be answered. I don't know if it's a yes or no. We'll see as these cards comes through but they hear you um you're gonna get a blessing of some sort on a great caliber so that's really all that matters right Ooh, okay let's see yeah okay okay i'm seeing that some of you cancers may have been dealing with infidelities in the past either you've been Dealing with infidelities from somebody in the past or you've been the one that has been kind of choosy while in a relationship. I'm hearing that some of you guys, either you or the other person, haven't been getting the attention that they want. So when they get attention, they kind of go berserk, like they love attention. Um, if that's not the case, then I'm also getting messages that a lot of eyes are on you at this moment like a lot of people who want to get with you or want to get to know you is out there in the works i'm getting someone maybe coming fast through in a hurry trying to get to you here with the eight of wands i have seven of cups eight of wands and then i have seven of wands in reversed someone's definitely dealing with a challenge however 
Someone could be traveling to you. I'm hearing abundance. Maybe this person's abundant. Maybe you're getting news about abundance coming soon. Something that you're definitely passionate about or someone who's passionate about you. Around you, something is passionate, but it's been quite difficult to overcome obstacles and challenges here with the seven of wands in reverse. Maybe if someone has been messing around with you because we did get betrayal at the beginning, a lot of secrets, a lot of doubts in the energies for you guys. Um, this person might have knocked you down when you were already down. Like maybe you were already going through some bullshit. Um, if you guys were having, wow. If you guys were having a hard time, I heard something about California too. If you guys were having a hard time conceiving or having a baby or maybe you lost a baby or had a miscarriage or whatever so forth. Someone may have stepped out on you or betrayed you in a way, kept secrets from you, made you doubt yourself, made you doubt your, I'm not saying that, doubt your fertilization of your eggs. They wanted me to say another word, but that's too that's too much. Um, but they might have stepped out on you. They might have looked elsewhere for attention or for someone that could give them what they wanted. You got some type of news rapidly with the eagle. Something came in fast coming. Someone had to travel of some sort. You might have got it from an angel or a sign or some type of symbolization that this bullshit was going on around you and your energy field. But this person pretty much kicked you when you were down, made you feel like worthless. So that's something that you might have, you might be dealing with at the moment or something that you dealt with already or something you will be dealing with in this month. So I apologize if you guys are in this energy this month because I'm saying for some of you, it might be this month or it could be this month. Because I say it could be because energies can change up at any moment. <clears throat> Just because I'm reading this, these cards to you does not mean that has to be your outcome. We all have free will. Um, the fact that I'm letting you guys know that this could be the energy, you could change it up whenever you feel fit, depending on your response to things, okay? But I'm sensing that this could be happening for, for somebody this month in the future or, or somewhere sometime in the future. Um, because the eagle is looking forward, like fast paced moving forward. It's like the cheating happened in the past, but the aftermath of it, the weakness part, I keep wanting to say weaknesses. Overcoming these obstacles and challenge or struggling to stay afloat could be surfacing in the near future. So let's get clarification. Cancer, February 2020. Six of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles in reverse, Seven. Wow, Mad Earth Energy. <clears throat> you have Mad Earth Energy around you. Either this could have to do with third dimensional materialistic things like belongings, money, assets, physical assets, physical people. Or you could be dealing with an Earth sign, a Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn. I have six of pentacles so this has something to do with giving and receiving of money of funds and then we have the queen of pentacles you could be dealing with a feminine energy it doesn't have to be a female it just could be someone who's in their feminine energy like a mother figure or aunt a grandmother a best friend if it's a guy somebody who a guy who's definitely in his feminine energy more so than his masculine energy they could be putting on this bitch bitch made ass attitude in a hurry like it came out of nowhere i'm hearing queen of pentacles is a motherly figure someone who gets their money who protects who holds it down who holds down the fort a lot of virgo energy so when a virgo is in reverse i feel like this motherly figure is in fact not motherly at all um they're opposite they're very irrational very spiteful um they lack empathy they could be very self-resourceful but very selfish like they only do things to benefit themselves 
they do things for money they met manipulate <clears throat> people for money they look for fast money is what i'm getting this person is looking for fast money cancer are you the one looking for fast money you're being told if you're the one looking for fast money this is why you run into these difficulties with competition if it's at the workplace and you're like you're promote a hair promotion if you're like fighting for a promotion or fighting for a position the fast way out manipulation all of those negative traits is not the way to go you have to be able to give and receive energy fluidly here with the six of pentacles there's there are however a lot of people whose eyes are set out on you so if this has to do something with work your bosses your co-workers their higher up bosses may be looking at you <clears throat> But you guys need to stay humble. You guys need to stay balanced. If you feel like you're this shit, stay humble. Respectful and very tactful. Don't be tacky. Because when you do that, you your prayers will be answered. Like, when, when you least think you're about to get something that comes through, something is going to come through for you guys. But if you try to go this way of getting fast money here with the eight of wands something that you, like i understand you're passionate about it or whatever but if you try to move forward in a queen of pentacles in reversed way instead of caring about other people's feelings and how you get to the top you're gonna crumble with the seven of wands in reverse the best way to go about it is to be the seven of pentacles is to grow at a healthy and steady pace it may be a long journey. It may be a struggle-filled journey, depending on how you look at it. And I'm being told to speak very slow when I say this, so this is how I know that you guys need to not let your anxiety get the best of you. Um, but you have to put, I'm hearing some of you guys have to pull, put that bullshit that happened in your personal life to the side. Like, yeah, people are trifling, but that doesn't mean you have to be a trifling person. Don't block your blessings because someone else decided to block, try to block yours, or they blocked their own. Like, two wrongs don't make a right. Okay? Karma is real. Whatever goes around comes around. So people have their eyes on you. Just be giving and receiving equally. Don't be manipulative. Don't try to get to the money fast. Don't try to get to the position fast. Don't try to knock other people when they're already down. Don't try to knock people down, period. Focus on yourself. Focus on the high vibrational qualities of yourself listen to your higher self and be very patient and ready to go on a journey because the journey is what gives us our foundation the journey is what gives us our, our story if you have mentors or someone older than you that's giving you advice definitely listen i'm hearing some of you guys to spend a lot of quality time with someone who's older than you like a grandfather figure or an elderly figure and it don't have to necessarily be elderly like elderly but older your elders someone who's known you since you were a kid i'm hearing something about somebody working on a farm spend time outside as well um in the earth okay i'm gonna pull a couple more cards and I'm going to be out of here. What else do we need to know for Cancer February 2020? You guys could either be dealing with someone who isn't tapped into their spiritual powers or skill set. Someone's a narcissist. It could be a Leo. Because we have fire energy. It could be a Leo. This person is blocked off. From their spiritual self. They're all gifted. They're, their talents. Like if they're an intuitive person. If they're a reader like you. If they're like really quick to manifest. That's their powers. That's They're very gifted. They're very blessed. They're blocking that energy. It's tied up with this could be the person that you were once with that 
maybe stepped out on you, showed infidelity. There's a lot of sevens in here, by the way. I have three sevens. I have three sevens. So look up the spiritual meaning of 777. Um, if that if that resonate with you. Um, but this definitely could be a Leo sign person or someone who just thinks they know it all. Or they or maybe they do have a, a very great strength of knowledge on terms of things like this. Spiritual ascendant stuff like the spiritual community. But they're still blocked off because they have a hard time expressing their love, showcasing their love, and loving people and loving themselves. This is the King of Cups in reversed. This this is the God of love. This person doesn't know how to show love, and that could be their challenge. Or this could be your challenge, Cancer, because this is real reading. Okay, so this could be you, Cancer. Some of you guys could be blocking off your true innate talents and, and gifts. But you only have you have the key to unlock your gifts. You think you know it all. You think you know a lot about this fast paced way of getting money. This is for another group of you. You know nothing at all. You're blocking your gifts when you do shit like that because you're low vibrational. And you need to learn how to love yourself for sure. To get out of these challenges and, and obstacles. And and for another group of you, this could be the person that did you dirty. They can lack emotion, empathy. They think they know it all. They could be a narcissist. They could be looking for fast ways to get money. This person could have jumped into a relationship with this Queen of Pentacles in reverse, reverse an earth sign. Okay. So I'm going to leave this here, you guys. Thanks so much for tuning into my video. If this resonates with you and you want a private reading, um, my email is in the description box below. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and comment below so I can see if this really did work out in y'all's favor. Alright, thanks y'all. Bye.